Imagine that your business has a massive amount of data, thousands of tables, millions of files, and it's growing exponentially. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create, upgrade, and use iceberg tables on Ozone in CDP Private Cloud. This is the CDP control plane, which we use to manage private cloud environments. I have here a private cloud base cluster, which is using Apache Ozone object store for data storage. This cluster is also where Iceberg metadata will be stored. Iceberg is engine agnostic and it works with most analytic query engines like Hive, Impala, Spark, and so on. Let's look at a Hive warehouse compute cluster that I have deployed that can scale up to two nodes. I'm opening the Hue editor so that I can start creating some Iceberg tables. To create a table, simply run a standard create table statement with the type as Iceberg and the location on Ozone. Note that I have used OFS, which is also compatible with traditional Hadoop storage types. Now that I've created the iceberg table, we see that the locations are on Ozone under the volume Tenant1 and the bucket Warehouse. There is also a separate folder for metadata where iceberg metadata is stored. Ozone also supports an S3 interface. To create a table on Ozone using S3 protocol, we would need to have a bucket in the S3 volume. We could either create a new bucket or link an existing bucket to the S3 volume, which is what I'm doing right now. Once the bucket is linked, I'll create a table using the S3 URL, which is S3A colon slash slash bucket name. This is going to create a table on Ozone using the S3 gateway, which is highlighted here. You could also upgrade existing tables to Iceberg. Here is a parquet table that I want to upgrade to Iceberg. See that the existing table is on Ozone and a parquet table. Since I want to upgrade this table to Iceberg, I run a single alter table command. This command converts the table from a Hive parquet table to an Iceberg table and does not involve any resource expensive table rewrites. You can now see that metadata has also been created for this table under the metadata location. I'm now going to create a table with partitions using Iceberg's hidden partitioning feature. I'm creating the partition by applying a transformation on an existing column, time. This transformation will create partitions with the date field, which will automatically affect any new data I insert. Hidden partitioning at Iceberg means that all partitions are hidden from the user. If we need to achieve the same with Hive partitioning, this is how the create table statement would look. As you can see in the sample create table statement, you will have to create a separate partition column and populate that column with partition values. Users can now take advantage of iceberg hidden partitioning and only provide filters on the actual timestamp column. If you want to do the same with Hive partitioning, add an additional date column to the filters. With iceberg in place, partition evolution is possible. I want to modify the partitioning scheme of the iceberg web logs table that I just created. I'm able to add another partition field called app by running an alter table statement. When I run some inserts, all of the new data will be ingested using the new partition scheme. You could check that by running a list on the table location. All of the new data, which is the 18th and 19th of January, has been created using the new partitioning scheme partitioned by date as well as by application. The old data, which was the 17th January data, is partitioned just by the date. Time travel is another key feature of Iceberg. Let's travel back in time by a few minutes. This is the existing state of the Iceberg web logs. We have about 10 records from the dates 17, 18, and 19th of January, and this is the current timestamp. Let's go back a few minutes. I'm going to look at the state of the table as of 12 o'clock. We see that the new data that we've inserted, which is from the dates 18th and 19th of January, is missing. This is how the table looked at 12 o'clock on January 30th. You can also work with iceberg tables using the Impala engine. Here is an Impala compute cluster that can also scale up to two nodes. Open up the Hue editor so that you can start creating some tables with Impala. The create table SQL code will look the same as in Hive. Let me create an iceberg table. 
As you can see, the create table SQL code is the same. Since Hyven and Paula share the same Metastore, we can also query tables that were created via Hive. Iceberg tables are supported by the Spark engine as well. In the Spark 3 shell, I'll create an iceberg table using Spark SQL. This is how the SQL code would appear. There's a slight change in how the create table SQL looks in Spark versus Hive or Impala. This is how we create the iceberg table with the using clause. The partition spec will remain the same and the partition clause is partitioned by. Iceberg is also supported by DataFrame API. What I'm doing here is reading a table that we've already created, Iceberg Web Logs. I'm querying the delta between two snapshots to give me the record that came in between the snapshot versions. This record is a search request that was reported late. With minimal setup, it is this simple to get started with Iceberg on Ozone in CDP Private Cloud. This ability allows you to reap the benefits of both a powerful exabyte scale storage system and an optimized table format for petabyte scale analytics. For more details about Iceberg on Ozone, please see the blog entitled Open Data Lakehouse Powered by Apache Iceberg on Apache Ozone.